What is up guys? Brian Loomis back here with another freshwater bend is video and if you couldn't tell by my setups, by my rods just sitting there, if you couldn't tell by the water, if you couldn't tell by the gorgeous sounds of Indiana, we're out here on the Vermilion River. I have two lines out. Both of them have my circle hooks on them. Both of them are going down. This one's damn near underneath that bridge. This one's damn near across the river. Today's bait of choice. I know I could have went with night crawlers or I could have went with my special chicken, uh, which is just boneless chicken breast and garlic powder. But today I went with the tried and true catfish bait. Uh, I'm using chicken liver today. And the only reason I'm using chicken liver today is I've had amazing, last year I had amazing luck on chicken liver. So right now I'm at the Vermilion River. As you can tell, I have both my rods set up in the water and we're gonna see if we can hook up in anything. We have rain coming this week, which is gonna raise this river. Currently right now, as you can see this hill behind me, if this was last week, I'd be underwater completely by right now. Uh, the river's gone down quite a bit, and before it goes back up, I want to get some good catfishing in to see if I could hook up into anything. So you guys hang in there. I'm going to see if I could hook up into anything. I have a video coming today, and then I'm going to have video up tomorrow as well to see if I can get as much fishing in before the rain comes. So until I get hooked up or until I start getting hits, you guys just hang in there and uh, do what you guys do. Of course, I hope you guys are staying ha happy, staying healthy, and staying safe. Uh... I love doing what I do. I get to be out here. Ooh, ooh, that's getting hit. You can tell a big difference between a hit and when the current pulls your bait. When it hits, it'll go down and it'll stay down for a second and then it'll come back up. When it's the current, it'll just bob up and down like this. When it hits, it goes down and it stays down for a second then it comes back up. These are circle hooks, so they're gonna help me catch the fish without setting the hook too much. But right now, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to fish a little bit until about, uh, let's see, it's 2.53. So it's 3 o'clock. I'm going to fish till about 4.30, 5 o'clock, see if I can hook up in anything. So until then, you guys just hang in there, uh, and I'm going to see what I can do out here. Okay, guys, a bit of an update. Right now I had, or I have half. I threw another pool in the water, so now I got three running. Right there, all of them heading downstream. We got the light action heading down towards those logs. <clears throat> this one here is heading straight over here, and then you got this one. This pole that's headed that way. Basically, what we're doing right now is just seeing if we could trigger a reaction on anything using chicken liver and. I got this set up extremely close to those logs. That way, there's only like three or four three ounce egg sinkers on there. So if I lose those in a snag, it's not really that big a deal. And I have a smaller circle hook, and those come, I come by like nothing. But. Right now it's getting hard to tell what's a bite, what's the wind, and what's the current. But I gotta get some fishing done within the next couple days. So I'm gonna be out here for a little bit longer. Right now it's 3.16, so I'm gonna see what I can get before 4.35 o'clock. So, see what I can do, I guess. Alright guys, so right now 
I've been out here for what an hour and a half. Well, I don't know, it's 416. And I've only gotten a couple really good bites. Specifically on this pole that's out here by the logs. You see over there is wait over there wait I can't see. Over there is Justin and his buddy Frankie. They're fishing the opposite side of the river. I am in my spot trying to hide from the wind with this wall and that nasty thing of chicken liver. But right now it's just a dance of what is current, what is wind, what is hits. And I, obviously I got babe down here with me. But right now we're just gonna see if I can hook up into anything right so far, like I said, it's only been hits, and I've lost a lot of chicken liver. So maybe next time I don't use chicken liver. But I did, however, snag on the cat buster. I snagged it up, snapped the line. I retied with a huge, heavy setup. It's got a huge circle hook on it with two one ounce sink egg sinkers and three uh i would say they're half ounce egg sinkers on it but it's got a huge setup with a big piece of chicken liver and for that one for the big hook i took the chicken liver and tied it on with fishing string that way it didn't come off on the cast so i can cast it really far but right now we're just waiting i think i'm going to give it probably about another 30 minutes to see if anything happens if nothing happens i think i'm gonna pack up and head home for the day S tomorrow i'm gonna get another fishing video out before the rain comes and the river floods so i mean unless i catch anything you guys just hang in there and i'll see what i can do <laughs> all right guys so you see the river here there's justin and frankie and right now we're packing up. It's cold. We're about to head home. Get done. All I got was a really a good, good couple bites off the chicken liver. Tomorrow, I don't know. I need to get catch fish, so I'm either gonna go pond hopping, or uh, I'm gonna come back to the river. As you see it over here, the river looks really good over here. These rapids come in. The sandbar comes in. It's, gets shallower you can actually narrow the fish down to a catchable ratio but till then I hope you guys are staying happy staying safe and staying healthy and until my next video I hope you guys never forget to keep cranking <laughs>